Rest in peace, John McAfee. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, one of the great heroes of the libertarian community, John McAfee, passed away recently in a Spanish jail. Obviously, it didn't look like it was a suicide, even though it's supposed to look like one, so it's a kind of Epstein kind of situation, though uh, McAfee's a kind of hero, uh, a kind of hacker, and a kind of uh, libertarian rebel, so uh, he's not a kind of villain uh, along the lines of Jeffrey Epstein. So we're going to talk about that tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain, uh, the death of John McAfee. Stick around and listen. Welcome to the report for Tugger Mountain. We're going to talk about the death of John McAfee here that just happened actually this week. I actually shared a meme on Facebook of a friend and uh, it was something about if you're going to kind of basically um, go against the establishment, you're going to get cheated like Jesus Christ and you're going to be crucified. I didn't actually know John McAfee had died when I shared that meme. And then someone said, oh yes, um, you know, it's a shame he's passed away uh, in a comment. And I said, has he? And then I looked up obviously online. And he had, he uh, hanged himself in a Spanish jail. Um, obviously, I think they were trying to go after him for tax evasion or something along those lines. Or, I mean, basically, you know, he was a kind of um, real bad boy, you know, in the sense of like a real libertarian rebel. He was a guy who cured all the um, kind of Bill Gates viruses that no doubt pissed off Bill Gates. And, um, you know, he went and lived down in a place um, in South America. I can't remember, I think it's Belize. Belize, that's it. He went and lived in Belize. And I remember reading a story, it must have been with Vice magazine, and he was down there, he was like smoking crack and like hanging around with like hookers with machine guns. It just seemed to be some kind of like uh, absolutely off the wall. And he was obviously very, very wealthy because, you know, he had invented um, some of the key um, kind of early technologies of the internet and some key kind of things to do with business and and, um, and antivirus uh, technologies and stuff. And um, so, you know, he was a kind of early hero of the kind of internet boom. And um, But he was a real rebel. He ran for the Libertarian Party in 2016. He was not nominated. I mean, he, he tried to become the main nomination, but he wasn't. But, you know, there's just something really rebellious about him. And obviously the government kind of went after him down in Belize and um, they kind of drummed up this kind of um, uh, charges against him. And uh, what he did is he actually sent... This is quite fascinating. He sent as gifts, um, he found out who the secretaries of all the major departments of the United States, he sent them the best laptops available as gifts. And of course they all had his malware or spyware on them. So he wanted to try and get information on, you know, this case against him, but he didn't actually find out anything about a conspiracy to go and get him. But he just found out that things like, the, I mean, you know, that the, uh, you know, the Department of Immigration was the major human trafficker in the world and the, the Department of, uh, that's the drug uh, enforcement agency, they're the major drug dealers in the world. Well, he found out this kind of terrible information. There are videos where he discusses this stuff online, and it's quite extraordinary. And um, you know, I mean, he was—he is a kind of figure to me, a whistleblower, really, uh, along the lines of Julian Assange and um, you know others. And you know, except he's even more of a rebel in the sense that he was almost like a kind of a gangster when he was hanging out in Belize with machine guns and hookers and drugs and everything. So he was a real bad boy. So I guess it's probably not surprising that he came to a sticky end, but um, you know, it was quite sad because uh, you know, he was a real rebel and I think his heart was in the right place, even though he was a bit, you know, uh, what you call off the wall. So I think everybody here at the report from Tiger Mountain should um, mourn the death of John McAfee and we should ask questions, you know, um, you know, and we should start, you know, John McAfee did not uh, kill himself very much along the lines of uh, Jeffrey Epstein, we should find out who did. And you know, again, he did a lot to, um, to kind of like tell us what the elites are up to, Tell us about the deep state. There are many great videos online you should go check out by John McAfee. So make sure you do that now. He's passed away. Post something uh, in reverence to him on your Facebook page. And, um, you know, follow this story because maybe he had a dead man switch, ladies and gentlemen, because he was rumored to have one. A dead man switch is when you die, you know, like a whole bunch of uh, information will go to, like, I don't know, 10 major news sources around the world um, uh, that will um, basically, you know, drop many people in power in the poo. So maybe he did have a dead man switch and maybe in the coming weeks, we're going to see the fallout of the death of John McPhee, apropos what was in a dead man's switch. So this is a fascinating situation. Um, it is also tragic because he was a very interesting man. He's obviously a very talented man. Um, uh, he's obviously a man who you know, had a few demons of his own and you know, went a bit wild, as the case may be. So um, we just wanted to talk about this today on the report for Tiger Mountain and to say, rest in peace and uh, uh, God protect you. John McAfee. Cheers.